It's hard to conceive how someone does something so heinous, but the search for clues continues at the suspect's Dartmouth Denture Clinic. Parked on the property, almost out of sight, a car similar to the one the gunman used to carry out his rampage, except that one had RCMP decals. The federal government sells used unmarked police cruisers on its surplus website, though it seems the gunman's car wasn't one of those. It wasn't actually an RCMP vehicle, uh, but it was made to look identical to one. And we will trace back every part of that vehicle to find out how that happened. Easier said than done. The fake police cruiser went up in flames at one of the many crime scenes. While Gabriel Wortman's client saw a mild-mannered persona at work, there were signs he was obsessed with police. His high school yearbook suggested his future may include being an RCMP officer. He carried out his murder spree wearing a Mountie uniform, though it's unknown whether it was real. Anyone can buy RCMP patches online. He had few known run-ins with the law, except in 2002 he pleaded guilty to assaulting a man in Dartmouth. Now, Nothing preventing him, it seems, from buying guns. It's not that difficult to get these weapons. It does require that someone a register uh, apply for a license, but unless there is a very strong criminal record in the past. This retired homicide investigator sees parallels with other killings, but still nothing hinting at a motive. Usually with mass killers, they have some kind of a grievance with somebody or some authority that sets them off. The gunman's fixation with police lasted until the end when they shot him outside this truck stop. And with no note left behind, any explanation for what happened may be lost as well. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.